Hello, and welcome back to Frontington and Backwards Railway, where I have just finished kit bashing this GWR style footbridge. Let me show you how I did it. Now, like many model railways, I'm sure, mine has not been built from scratch by buying everything new. In fact, most of this layout has at one time or another either belonged to someone else or been something else or been inherited from my childhood layout. That said, as it's matured, I have been replacing certain elements of it with more appropriate alternatives, gradually transforming it into the layout I want rather than the layout I had. One of the items of scenery that was brought over from the layout I had as a kid was the footbridge. It was a green, plastic, generic-looking Hornby footbridge. And while it was okay initially, as more and more of this layout has been GWRified, the more that footbridge has looked out of place. So, here's the plan. I had actually already chopped the bottom off of one side so that one end could be on the platform and the other on ground level. But being originally intended for just two tracks, it was somewhat short to stretch over three tracks. It also seemed unnecessarily tall, so bringing down the height was also going to be important. Looking around at prototypes, there's actually quite a bit of variation when it comes to footbridges on the Great Western Railway. Some are rather grand affairs, like this one at Willerton, but that would be excessive for my layout. Others are like this one at Buckfast Lee, but I didn't have the intricate lattice to make that work. And yes, you can buy kits for these sort of bridges, but mm, that, that takes all the fun out of it. I did quite like the look of this bridge at Toddington on the, the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway. It's simple and attractive, but because one end of my bridge needs to be right on the edge of my layout, right next to the track, I wouldn't have room for that second flight of steps. However, just up the line at Winchcombe, they have this footbridge, which is much more straightforward. I don't know the history of the bridge to know why it is the way it is, but at least I have some precedent to work with. My plan is therefore to dismantle my green plastic bridge, do away with the entirety of the walkway, and replace it with something simple but hopefully effective. So what's going to happen is that one side is going to go up there, on that side of the station and the other half is going to go this side make sure they're all sort of lined up I think that's about right Lovely. and then this bit of card here can just bridge the gap as it were if you'll pardon the pun I have actually cut that a little bit too short but that's fine I can fill that in later but the point is, you can see now that's a much better height, I think, certainly by my eye. Uh, there's a, an engine there, you can see it's a much better height, I think. That will do, no, do quite nicely. Having established the width of the walkway, I cut out a couple of bits of thin plastic, which will act as the sides of the bridge. They're pretty thin, Probably thinner than I would have chosen, but that's what I had to hand. The structural integrity will be provided by the thick cardboard bottom, so I'll just have to remember not to pick up the bridge by the sides. I'm using some enamel paints from Phoenix Precision that are specifically for GWR buildings. In case you're interested, it's stone number one and stone number three. I've used these paints elsewhere around the station, so it should fit in nicely. Painting the banisters and remaining lattice work was fiddly, making sure I covered over all the green, but I got there in the end.
and here is the finished result. I think it's a much better fit for where the layout is now. You could probably argue that a station of this layout wouldn't have warranted a footbridge at all, what with there being a perfectly usable barrow crossing right next to it. But I like the vertical interest that a bridge gives, with trains going underneath something. So I'm making full use of rule number one. It's my railway, I'll do what I like. Do let me know what you think of this in the comments, and uh, you know, maybe share some other ideas or examples of things you've kitbashed for your layout. But that's all from me for now, so I'll see you in the next video.